Welcome to the latest Raspberry Pi OS release, now available for download. This version is based on Debian Bookworm, offering exciting updates and features. Stay tuned as we explore what's new and how it enhances your Raspberry Pi experience. Debian Linux operates on a two-year release cycle with a new major version expected in 2025. This marks the final Raspberry Pi OS release based on Debian Bookworm before transitioning to Trixie. They have enhanced the screen locking with a modified Sway Lock application. It now provides feedback on lock status, accessible via Control Alternate L or the menu. This improvement ensures a more intuitive experience when securing your Raspberry Pi desktop. They improved auto login security by separating console and desktop options. This prevents bypassing the screen lock via TTY. You can manage these settings in Raspberry Pi configuration, ensuring a more secure environment. Now, let's explore the new standalone printers application, ported from GNOME for easier printer management. They have introduced a new standalone printers application, ported from the GNOME Desktop Control Center. This update replaces the older system config printer, offering a more intuitive interface. You can find it in the Preferences section of the main menu, making printer management simpler and more efficient for Raspberry Pi users. Touchscreen handling in Wayland has improved. Mouse emulation is now default, allowing touchscreens to mimic mouse clicks. Users can choose between mouse emulation and native touchscreen behavior. This flexibility enhances user experience, especially in file navigation. While Wayland support matures, these options ensure users can tailor their touchscreen interactions. LabyWC Wayland Window Manager is now updated to version 0.8.1, running on Linux kernel 6.12. Squeakboard Virtual Keyboard is enhanced for multi-monitor setups, offering more flexibility. These updates ensure a smoother and more efficient user experience on Raspberry Pi operating system. Chromium's update means uBlock Origin can't be pre-installed, so they've switched to uBlock Origin Lite. They've also optimized startup for WF Panel Pi and replaced Zenity with their efficient Zenoti tool, enhancing performance. These changes ensure a smoother, faster experience for Raspberry Pi users. Numerous under the hood changes enhance maintenance with dozens of tweaks and bug fixes. New translations have been added, ensuring a smoother user experience. These updates streamline the system, preparing it for future releases while maintaining stability and performance. To update your Raspberry Pi OS, use sudo apt update and sudo apt full upgrade in the terminal. Confirm any configuration changes during the process. For a fresh start, download the new image from the software page. This ensures you have the latest features and improvements ready to explore. We encourage your feedback in the comments. Enjoy the last months with Bookworm as we wrap up this presentation. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the latest Raspberry Pi OS updates.